Weeks have passed, and there's been no sign of Chief. Notch has never been apart from his brother for this long before. He searches for him, listening for his familiar roar. Without his brother and ally, Notch seems lost. A second in command with no leader. The rest of the pride is fragmenting. The females have a kill, but the adolescents are nowhere to be seen. Unusual when there's food in the offing. They're probably disconcerted by the sounds and smells of the new males in the area and are keeping a low profile. With his brother gone and rivals on his doorstep, this will be a true test of Notch's mettle. Without its main leader, the pride is disintegrating. Now, the most experienced lionesses are leaving too. Notch stands alone. As the dry season takes hold, more and more animals descend into the Insefu territory. The plane is restless. the age and double the weight of the young bachelors are in the heart of the Ensefu territory and are making themselves at home. The two nomads are seasoned broads. They fought their way through other lion territories for years and are afraid of nothing. One glimpse of this battle-hardened duel tells the younger pair all they need to know. Their stay in the Ensefu territory is over. These interlopers are a serious threat. Not only for Notch, but to all his offspring. With no sign of roars or scent marks, the big males are full of confidence. Already, they're claiming this land as their own. Seifu Pride members, now dispersed, follow suit.
the buffalo continue to keep the two interlopers well fed. In such high numbers, there will always be injured and sick individuals, providing plenty of opportunities for the two large males. even if not every hunt is a success. Storm clouds gather, and finally the weather turns. The arrival of rain changes everything. The interloper's larder begins to move on. Unaware that there is an opportunity to take over a pride here, the hunters leave their calling card and depart with the herds. The Ansefu pride is still fragmented. But the change in season brings a change in mood. Returns to the Ansefu territory. So too does the pride's confidence. One of the mothers breaks the silence. It elicits just the response she hoped. One by one, the pride returns. The lions reaffirm their bonds, the vital glue that keeps the family united even after weeks of separation. Only Notch is alone, unaware that his pride has reunited. He shares none of their confidence. He scours the land for scraps, a lost soul without his brother or his pride. Where once he feared nothing, he's now easy to chase away. His outlook is bleak. In the 
river, the crocodiles have a feast. The carcass of an elephant, enough meat to feed a hundred mouths for several days. Desperately hungry, Notch is drawn in by the smell of food. Only the most foolhardy lion would brave crocodile-infested waters, but he's got nothing to lose. Sensing movement, more fresh meat. The crocs close in. pushed around by reptiles. The strong smell of the carcass and the commotion in the river attracts a lioness. She's one of the Enseful Pride, and she's not the only one watching the drama. A family of elephants has come to investigate. But Notch isn't interested in them. He hasn't seen a member of his pride for three weeks. Both are wary. Slowly, Notch seems to let down his guard. But she doesn't stay. Notch is alone once more. But seeing the female gives him a glimmer of hope. He gives it one last shot. Slowly but surely, familiar faces appear. Led by the lioness, Notch's family returns. The pride that he spent three years protecting is firmly back by his side. He no longer has 
as his brother, but he has the support of his whole family. Without Chief by his side, Notch's days as head of the Unsafu Pride are surely numbered. But his story is one of success. He is the father of many and still the king of this patch of Luangwa Valley. Time is running out, but his reign is not over yet. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.